All right, so my mom got me this coaching session with this guy for my 13th birthday, and I'm really excited. I did a lot of research. I think this guy knows exactly what he's talking about. He's gonna teach me how to do my dream trick, the bar spin. Actually, I see him right now, I'm so excited. All right, so this kid's mom, she's been with me 50 bucks, teach this kid how to bar spin. Should be pretty easy. I mean, I've taught him like 100 times, so should be pretty good. Let's go check it out. All right, bro, so you wanna learn how to bar spin? Well, first off, we gotta figure out, are we gonna do it bunny hop, or are we gonna do it on a sick jump? Can you can you bunny hop, or can you can you jump a sick jump? Well, I can kind of bunny hop. All right, okay, so, so bunny hops it is. So when you bunny hop, you wanna sick pull back, huge manual, get that front wheel way up there, and then we're gonna push our bars out like this, and we're just gonna throw those bars around, catch them, and land. All right, hold on, hold on. That is not a bunny hop. You know, actually, let's just let's try it just like that. Yeah, let's just let's just double tire, throw those bars around, and catch them. Do you know how to do the bar spin? So what we want to do is we want to open our hand up like this, let go with the other hand, and we want to just spin them around. Yeah, you know, actually, like when you just flick the wrist and throw them, it's really good. Throw it or? Just guide the hand all the way around. Don't throw it. Don't even catch him. Just throw it and just see what happens when you land. Don't catch? Let Jesus take the wheel. Make sure you're looking at your stem as you're guiding it all the way around. Ex yeah, yeah, when you, when, you, when you throw it, look down at the bars. Excuse me. Watch the ground. Excuse me. Closing your eyes always helps me because then you're not scared. You don't even know what's coming. I think this kid is just not listening to me. I just don't think this guy knows what he's talking about. Do I not look official enough? I think this guy rides mountain bike. I don't ride mountain bikes. Clearly bunny hopping is just, just too hard for you. We need a sick jump. Right here, sick jump. We need to get a good solid pump, get super high in the air, and make sure that bike is level. Actually, you know, sometimes it helps if you're a little steeper. That way you're not falling over the bars and you don't jab yourself. Bro, you gotta go way higher. Actually, I, I think you could do it that same height. Just, just, just throw them. And leave both feet on. Yeah, yeah, that was not good. Try taking that foot off. Yeah, keep your foot on. Do I keep my feet on or do I take my feet off? I feel like he's just not trying hard enough. I'm doing everything that he says, but it just isn't working out. All right, all right, so your problem is in the catch. Just don't catch. I just don't get it. He can't throw it, he can't bust it, he can't land it, he can't not catch it. Yeah, that was, that was good. Make sure you catch the bars. I just can't figure out if he wants me to throw it or not throw it. Do my hands go on? Like, what, what do I do? Do some bar spins on your back. I just don't see how this is helping me. Yeah, do, do 100. 99, 100, 101. <sighs> Do a thousand. I really hope this pays off. One thousand one. Bro, I said a thousand on the back and he's complaining. When you come right here, if you actually just do a little bit of like a 90 degree turn when you throw your bars, it, it makes it less scary. Don't forget to pinch your seat. This is making me really sad. Don't worry about pinching your seat. As long as your knees are together, it's fine. My mom got me this as a present for my 13th birthday and this is worse than the candle you got me last year, mom. Try taking both feet off. How wide are your bars? Dude, cut your bars down 25 inches max. I really want to believe that he knows what he's talking about, but at this point, I'm, I'm just not sure. We have to stay straight. You cannot turn when you do a bar spin. It's a terrible habit. All you, all you need to do is just do a couple pull-up bars. Bro, a pull-up bar is not an actual trick. Don't do pull-up bars. You know, I haven't even seen him do a bar spin for me yet. I don't need to show him a bar spin. Just throw it and catch and gui guide it around. Both feet on, look, look down at your stem, make sure you jump real good, and, and just make sure you do everything all at once. <sighs> this. BMX is too hard, man. I, I'm quitting. This, this belongs in here. And I'm gonna start playing guitar. I actually just hired a coach. He's coming here, he's gonna provide the guitar. 
I'm super excited to play guitar because it's way easier than biking. Oh, kid just bet with me 50 bucks. I'm gonna give him some uh, guitar lessons. All right, so obviously there could be a trillion different things that you might be doing wrong to land a trick. And that's why it's so important to find someone who knows what they're talking about, who can recognize those things and steer you in the correct path to help you land whatever you want. Yeah, obviously this video is kind of just all the things someone might say to you and they can all be good taken in context, but often you're gonna hear it just like we showed you. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you've never checked out the YouTube channel, Bobo, he's hilarious. That's where we got the inspiration from. Uh, thanks, Bobo, and uh, see you guys later.